Hello, this is Alex from PHP Academy and this is another PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about embedding PHP inside HTML. Now you obviously probably all know what embedding is, um, it's just putting something within something, um, embedding it inside. So if I was to set up my PHP document and let's just use the example of let's say outputting hello world. Now if we uh, come into our browser and refresh this we can see that we uh, produced with uh, the text uh, hello world. Um, this is a pretty standard example and nothing's changed since uh, my more basic tutorials. So how about if we want to let's say um, actually embed some um, text uh, inside for example an input text box now I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna start typing um, a, an input tag and I'm gonna give it the type of text and um, we'll just say the value of uh, hello so what this is going to produce, um, I'm not using any HTML tags just to keep things simple. Um, obviously you would set your page out properly. Um, this example will produce uh, a small text box with the text hello, which obviously is edit editable so we can do what we want with it. Um, let's just go back into this. So how about if I wanted to take a variable in PHP and just pop it into here, um, which later on in programming you will want to do because you'll want to say dynamically update forms and this is a great example to show you um, of how to take variables within PHP and put them straight into forms. So let's have our PHP tags at the top of the page. Now already what we're doing is we're combining PHP with HTML inside the same document. We're still using the PHP extension for our file However, we can just plainly echo out HTML as you've already seen, or well, not echo out but display HTML. Now inside PHP up here, I'm just going to create a new variable called text, remember using the dollar sign and then our variable name, and we're going to make that equal to hello world. Now let's just say this was something that the user may have submitted or that something's in a database or something a bit more useful than some static text that we've just declared up here. Now what happens if I want to pop this value of this variable inside here? Now you basically simply have to start up a PHP tag, you can end your PHP tag just so you're ready to fill in your content and all you need to do is you need to echo out the variable remembering your line terminator because PHP code is processed on a line on a one line basis uh, it doesn't incorporate different lines necessarily when it's processed as a whole so by doing this all in one line you're still producing the same effect as if you were to do this it would work in exactly the same way so we can in fact just pull all this in so it's all on one line and it just looks a lot neater as well so now what we do is when we refresh the page we have the um, the uh, contents of that variable input embedded if you like into our HTML page so these are the basics of uh, embedding PHP inside uh, HTML